Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking a Carnot heat engine operates between a source at 1000 Kelvin and sink at 300 Kelvin. If the heat engine is supplied with heat at rate of 800 kilojoule per minute, determine the thermal efficiency and the power out of output of this heat engine, right? So let's see first of all how we can calculate the thermal efficiency. So the thermal efficiency, to calculate the thermal efficiency we have this equation, eta thermal is equal to 1 minus TL over TH. TL is going to be the temperature at sink and the TH is going to be temperature, temperature at source. But if they don't provide source and sink, how we can find it? TL is going to be the lowest temperature, right? And TH is going to be the highest temperature. So whenever you have highest temperature, that's going to be the TH. So let's uh, plug the values. So here we are going to have 1 minus 300 divided by 1000. So this is same as 1 minus 0 0.3. That is equal to 0 0.7. And that is equal to 70 percentage, right? So the efficiency of this this thermal efficient thermal efficiency of this heat engine is going to be 70 percentage right the second question is asking what is the power output of this engine so the power supplied is 800 kilojoule per minute to calculate the power output we simply have to multiply the power supply by the thermal efficiency and if we multiply that one that's going to give us the power output so let's uh, go ahead and find it power output that is equal to thermal efficiency that is 0 0.7 multiplied by power supply that is 800 kilojoule per minute but but we have this one in minute right to convert this minute into second because we we are trying to put it in SI unit so we have to convert this one into second so to convert minute into second we just multiply that one by 60 seconds in one minute we have 60 seconds so that's how we convert and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 9.33 and we have a kilojoule right here right so that's the answer is going to be kilowatts because joule per second is watts and kilojoule per second is going to be kilowatts and that's going to be the power output of, output of this uh, heat engine i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time